The iPhone 16 Pro Max boosts the largest display ever in an iPhone at 6.9 inches as well as the longest tested battery life of any iPhone yet. We also appreciate the camera upgrades and camera control button, but Apple intelligence lacks that wow feature for now and the charging speed could use a boost. The Ginorma 6.9 inch iPhone 16 Pro Max starts at 1199 US dollar with 256 GB of storage and goes on sale September 20. You can upgrade to 512 GB for $200 more and another $200 will get you 1 terabyte. I have been a Pro Max user for years since the iPhone 11 Pro Max but after testing the new iPhones, I'm actually torn about the iPhone 16 Pro Max. It has the largest display ever of any iPhone at 6.9 inches, yes, the thinner bezels help keep the device somewhat compact, but it is still taller, wider and heavier than the iPhone 15 Pro Max which I thought was the near perfect size and weight for a big screen phone. I have gone from feeling like I cheated the system to feeling slightly cheated. This might be an unpopular opinion but I think the new Pro Max is a little too big, at least for my hands. It's more of a stretch now to do simple things like scrolling through web pages or TikTok and once you put a case on your iPhone 16 Pro Max, it's like a mini tank. The good news is that the Pro Max is built to be more durable. In addition to having a titanium band, Apple claims that the improved ceramic shield display on this model is 50% tougher than the last generation. We can't drop these units, but on paper, it's encouraging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes in four colors, titanium white, titanium black, natural titanium, and desert titanium. Our iPhone 16 Pro came in the natural which looks fairly modern, but I prefer the desert color as it pops more. The iPhone 16 Pro Max gets a bunch of camera upgrades starting with a new 48 megapixel fusion camera for the main shooter that's designed to read data faster. The result should be zero shutter lag and faster focus. I took some shots of people passing by on scooters and moving taxis at the same time on the iPhone 16 Pro Max and iPhone 15 Pro Max and the new iPhone was indeed faster. The results were not necessarily sharper too as you can see in this side by side comparison. Here are some camera samples of iPhone 16 Pro Max. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is indeed an iterative upgrade and maybe it wouldn't feel that way if Apple intelligence was available today along with all the promised features. Instead, it's going to trickle out over time, so I would not to be in a rush to upgrade. Having said that, I think that iPhone 16 Pro Max is the best phone money can buy right now if you want the biggest screen and longest battery life. It lags in zoom versus the S24 Ultra, but you get more endurance 
better camera quality and plenty of creative features like photographic styles and audio mix. I actually preferred the AI capabilities of the Pixel 9 Pro XL series with its smarter Gemini Live voice assistant and other features like Admi for photos and Pixel screenshots. But the Pixel's performance and battery life trail the iPhone 16 Pro Max. For me, the iPhone 16 Pro Max retains its title as the best phone, but it's not because of Apple intelligence.